Okay, let's do problem 5.44. So in this problem, we want to design the circuit that you see over here to establish a drain current of 0 0.1 milliamp. So ID is 0 0.1 milliamps and a drain voltage of positive 3. So VD is positive uh, 0 0.3, sorry. It's 0 0.3 volts. The MOSFET has VT equal to 0 0.5, mu and C oxide is 400 micro, L and W is given. So we want to find the values for RS and RD because we want to design this whole MOSFET and the unknowns are RS and RD. Okay, so we know that this is V gate. First of all, we are in the N-channel transistor or NMOS, which is the N-channel MOSFET. This is my VD and this is my VS. Okay. And VD is given as 0 0.3. So first thing, let's find out what region of operation we are in. So in the N-channel MOSFET, if VDG is less than or equal to VTN, then we are in the saturation region. So now let's see if this equation holds for this case. So it's VD minus VG is equal to VD is 0 0.3. VG is 0 because it's connected to the ground. Is this less than or equal to 0 0.5, which is VTN? Yes. So we are in saturation region. So since we are in the saturation region, we have a specific ID that we have to follow, right? So if you go back to the MOSFET, if you are in the saturation region, which is this equation holds, then you have to use this ID, okay? So my ID is equal to half K prime N W over L, right? That equation of the um, saturation, W over L. And then we have V O V square, okay? The other thing is that I can find RD right away because this is ID, right? The current of the drain. And with writing a simple Ohm's law here, I can find ID. So I, sorry, I can find RD. So RD is equal to one volt minus VD over ID. So that is one minus 0 0.3 over 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 to the negative three because it's milliamps. So that is equal to seven multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 ohms, which is equal to 7 kilo ohms. So we found Rd from there. Now, in order to find Rs, I need to know what is Vs, but I don't have Vs available. So what I can do, I can use the ID equation that I wrote over here to find V overdrive. And I know that V overdrive is what? It is Vgs minus Vtn. So if I find V overdrive, then I can find VGS. And when I have VGS, I can find VS. All right, so let's substitute for all these um, variables. ID, so I'm using this equation here, is 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3 is equal to half. K prime N is technically mu and C oxide, right? So that is half multiplied by 400 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6. That is micro because I have the milliamp on the other side. So I will write that 10 to the negative 6 over here. So I'm converting everything to the standard um, unit. This multiplied by W over L. W is 5 micrometer over 0 0.4 micrometer. Why didn't I write 10 to the negative 6 for these two? Because micrometer and micrometer will be cancelled over here and then W over L doesn't have any unit. Now this multiplied by V over V squared that I want to find out what is V over V. Okay, so here I will have 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3 is equal to. Now 1 over 2 multiplied by 400 is 200. 200 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 is 2 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4, right? Multiplied by 5 over 0 0.4. So 5 over 0 0.4 can be written as 
50 over 4 multiplied by V over V squared. Okay? Now, on this side, I can write this 10 to, as 10 to the 84 is equal to this 2 and 2 will be cancelled, so I'm going to get 25 multiplied by 10 to the 84 multiplied by V over V to the power of 2. Now, 10 to the negative 4 and 10 to the negative 4 will be cancelled. So, V over V to the power of 2 is 1 over 25. That is equal to 0 0.04. So, from here, V over V will be square root of 0 0.04. That is 0 0.2. Okay? So, what, what are we looking for? I'm looking for Vs, right? Because I need to find Vs over here in order to find Rs. V overdrive is VGS minus VTN. So that is VG minus VS minus VTN. Right? V overdrive is 0 0.2. So I have 0 0.2 is equal to VG. Gate is connected to the ground. So it's 0. Minus VS is what I'm looking for. Minus VTN. What was VT? was 0 0.5. So minus 0 0.5 therefore from here Vs is equal to negative 0 0.7 volts so I found Vs equal to 0 0.7 volts therefore from here Rs because Rs is Vs minus minus 1 over ID why because ID is going to come here as well since the current in the gate is zero right so is and id is equal here so i in the source is that is the same as i in the drain okay so rs will be equal to vs is negative 0 0.7 plus 1 over what was id 0 0.1 milliamp 0 0.1 10 to the negative 3 so that is 0 0.3 over 0 0.1 is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 or 3 kilo ohms. Okay, so we found RD, RS that we were looking for and RD that we were looking for. So we designed the N channel mask. Okay.